And scientists in the United Kingdom say an infection fighter that Egyptians used thousands of years ago is offering promising results today. It turns out copper can work to suffocate harmful bacteria. And that's great news for hospitals where antibiotic-resistant bacteria can thrive. More now from Belgium's Way Press International. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency has just approved the registration of copper as an antimicrobial agent able to reduce specific harmful bacteria linked to potentially deadly infections. This registration follows a year of comprehensive laboratory testing which showed copper alloy surfaces to be effective against five different strains of bacteria, including the hospital superbug MRSA. Selly Oak Hospital in Birmingham, England, like so many other hospitals in Europe and beyond, has had serious problems fighting superbugs and other deadly microbes. As a specialist trauma center, it was particularly keen to take part in this new trial. In this general medical ward, the door push plates and handles, which are normally made from stainless steel, were replaced by copper. Research has shown that copper has high antimicrobial properties and superbugs quite simply die when they come into contact with the metal. The taps and other fittings in the bathrooms, which all day long are touched by hundreds of hands potentially passing on infection, were also switched to copper. Human beings are covered in organisms and we can spread organisms from one patient to another by various routes. It can be spread in the air, we can spread by hands or can be spread by instruments. We need to try and make sure that all those areas are minimized in terms of the numbers of organisms we have on there, putting our patients at risk. And if copper can do that job for us, that's going to be fantastic. The hospital trial was the result of research here at Southampton University. It had been shown that high concentrations of microbes, including MRSA, which survive for three days on stainless steel, die within 45 minutes of contact with copper. This means that, for the first time, copper, brass and bronze products can be marketed legally in the US using public health claims, and they could play a key role in fighting hospital-acquired infections. For the CNN World Report, this is Waypress International in Brussels. Scientists are hoping copper could also be used as a possible defense against bird flu. In Vietnam, there have been more than 100 cases of avian influenza, and the Ministry of Health has now approved human trials for an H5N1 vaccine. The human tests began last month. The volunteers are mostly scientists from Baviotech, a company that has been developing the vaccine since 2004. Before and after each injection, we've tested the volunteers' blood for the avian flu antibody. The result is that their immune system has grown stronger against the virus. Kidney cells from monkeys were used to develop the vaccine. The human trial follows successful tests on chickens and mice.